can see the blues are in their change colors of white shirts and uh, maroon shorts and socks everton of course in their traditional blue you can see the rain is still coming down on the Merseyside the forecast actually suggests that it might ease off in the next uh, hour or so but uh, whatever the conditions it will not deter the Blues from trying to put in a positive display today Dris delivery the header was on target from Samuel and the Blues almost grabbing the lead Wright's delivery Samuel's header would have been his first goal, actually, for the academy. You have to give credit to the goalkeeper. The ball is in the captain, Hamilton. Trying to get the better of John, but couldn't quite do it. Then, what was that? City say that could be a penalty. The referee shakes his head. Let's have a look at that again. Hamilton tries to get round the outside. And there's a bit of a communication issue, really. Is that a foul by Elijah Campbell? Oh, space worked. Here's Jacob Wright. Lovely ball to a Boado. Still a Boado. Saved by the goalkeeper, but turned in on the line by Kane Taylor. Well, City were on top, no doubt about that. And they've got the goal that their players merited. Kane Taylor. A Boado. Beautiful drag back. Goalkeeper smothered it, but not enough. And Taylor reacts to help it over the line. And City, who've certainly been the better side, now have a goal to reflect their domination. Boado just bounced off him. McAllister. Play from him. Really good play from McAllister. Opening up and shooting into the net. Well, that's a really well taken goal by Sean McAllister. And all City's excellent work undone. Really nice finish, you have to say, from Sean McAllister. Twisted and turned away from a couple of challenges and fired it into the near post. And True Grant was beaten. Did it all by himself, McAllister. It's 1 1. The Blues, much the better side in the first half. Had a couple of opportunities to maybe extend the lead. The Blues have got more defending to do, but they've done it well through Noble. Taylor to O'Reilly. Really dispossessed, though. Oh, a real chance for Everton, but True Grant is there. It was a good burst forward by Shank Patter. Samuel Hamilton this is good, this is promising O'Reilly Hamilton right on the edge of the area brings in Undala still Undala shot deflects out for a corner I think Undala felt that might have been going in I think I agree with him Premier League 2 clash City away in Everton they led through Kane Taylor they were in control in the first half but a wonderful equaliser from McAllister has made it 1-1 but the Blues looking for a winner here Hamilton shot blocked not cleared completely on Darla now can he find a way across not to be so it was going to be Reese Welsh who was going to make way wasn't it? in the end Here's Undala. Now Galvez. Good play from Galvez. Taylor straight at the goalkeeper. O'Reilly. Undala. And well, just wasn't going in. 
two or three wonderful opportunities. Kane Taylor probably had the best of them, but his shot was saved. And Darla's shot was smothered. I think the best chance was before that, actually. A few seconds before. Hamilton trying to find a way through. Bowado hits it back. Taylor, good ball. Abdala off balance. Thumps it well wide. Kane Taylor can't get beyond Dixon. Dixon just clinging on to their points at the moment. City of the team asking all the questions. Everton, they've just found the answers, and again they lose the ball. Taylor. Good ball from Taylor. A Boadou. Saved at the near. Oh, still with a Boadou. It's into the side netting. Goodness me, they're getting closer and closer, City. A Boado saved at the near post. It's a good save, actually. Low down to his right-hand side by Barnsley. But the, free, the attack was not over at that point. And Okiki drove it into the side netting. Everton corner. Heath drives it over. And there's True Grant to make the save. The header was from Welsh at the far. And True Grant was there probably to get involved for the first time in this second half in reality. That would have been a very cruel blow for the Blues having been so much in the ascendancy. Here's Heath. He's off target. The referee concludes the proceedings and there's enormous frustration among the Young Blues because they had the best of that second half. They were certainly the better team in the first, but the McAllister equaliser, the only goal of the second half, Kane Taylor had given the Blues the lead, deservedly so, in the first period. The last 20 minutes of the 90, absolutely bossed by the Blues, lots of half chances and almost sinews and ours and in the end ironically it was true grant that probably made the most important save to keep it at 1-1 but the blues will go away feeling as though it was three points that got away the final score at the finch final